you know where I'm at. <clears throat> it's we live today, babe. See all of this? The whole world is ours. It's the quality of life. You see that? Yeah, it's nightlife. <laughs> yeah, I'm at school. I'm uh, working on this sermon um, for next week. Uh, you know, I put a lot of time in everything that I, um, everything that I preach or whatever, whatever I do, I put a lot of time um, into it because, you know, it's my belief that your brand, your name is your brand. Your name is your brand and how legitimate you are or the, the work that you put in dictates whether if somebody wants to hear you or not, you know, is, is your quality of life. Hey, Wanda. So if, if whenever somebody um, speaks your name, uh, it has, hey, Lord, it has to have um, some some type of quality associated with it, some type of quality associated with it. If if they speak your name and, and, and typically if they speak your name and, and nothing of quality is associated with it, nobody will ever want to hear your brand, want to purchase your brand. Or really want to be associated with it, but look, it's real sexy out here. I'm ready to. Um, I'm at school. I'm ready to leave. But I just wanted to get part two. I mean, well, this is part three of our session from earlier, and so I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> I wanted to talk about is it worth it? Is it worth it? You know, oftentimes we tend to date people, and oftentimes we tend to deal with people, and can deal. Uh, depending on how much we like the person will dictate how much we're willing to tolerate the person. Let me say let me say it again. Depending upon how much we like the person will dictate how much we're willing to tolerate from the person. And sometimes I, I, I'm saying to you, whenever you want to deal with somebody or date them or court them or whatever, you have to think about how much can you tolerate. Because if you go more, if you go more or if you go over what you can tolerate, then you're stepping into your morals, you're stepping into your principles. And then what you're doing to gain the person, you'll lose yourself in trying to keep the person. Let me give it to you again. If you if you go above and beyond, like some people, you know, they go above and beyond um, for somebody trying to capture the person. And depending on your level of tolerance, your likability to that person and how much you're willing to tolerate. And if you want to go above and beyond the call of duty, then whatever you're doing to get the person, you have to be willing to do to keep the person. And for me, I'm not willing to do it straight up. I'm not willing to go above and beyond. Why, Cook? Because we we have this miss. We, we, we missed miss. We misperceive who we are and what we bring to the table because we think oftentimes we think that we don't bring anything to the table or we minimize what we bring to the table. And when we minimize what we bring to the table, guess what happens? We suffocate who we are and put that person before us. You hear me? And I'm going to tell you a quick story. You know, I was I was dating somebody talking to a particular person and um, and I would always do the texting. I would always do the calling and the, it was a reciprocal, you know, take them out on a nice date, you know, go out a couple of times, but it wasn't being reciprocated. And guess what? And the more effort I put forth, I'm going outside of my level of comfortability. I'm going outside of my zone of what I'm willing to tolerate. And if we go above and beyond what we're willing to tolerate, guess what we do? We become like you remember, you remember that cartoon stretch we stretch ourselves outside of who we are and we become like a puppet on wheels i'm saying to you that you have to have a limit as to what you're willing to do and how far you're willing to go whenever you date somebody this is saturday night lights let's get real you know, because we go out and we feel like, <laughs> you know, we feel like that we have to go above and beyond the, the call of duty. And then what happens is after we go above and beyond the call of duty, we realize that that person wasn't what we thought that they were. 
and after the realization comes into play you know when we realize they that we didn't they did turn out to be not what we thought that they were we feel like a dummy we feel stupid we feel like you know what did i do you know we feel like why did i let this person do that to me when in fact it was you that did it to yourself and i'm saying to you i gotta go um but i'm saying to you don't don't go outside of your boundaries you have to have boundaries you have to have boundaries that you're not willing to go out. My grandmother used to say, if you give the person the whole, if you give the continually give the, the person the whole uh, loaf, then they're not willing. To, they will never be willing to buy a slice. And you can't go outside of the boundaries and the statues that you've already put in place. You got to love yourself. You got to believe in yourself and believe that you're bringing something of quality something of essence something of purpose something that's beneficial to the table if you feel like you're not bringing anything to the table then people will treat you like you're not bringing anything and that's not to be tolerated so go forth knowing that it's saturday night lights think about you take a time and, and write a list down of what makes you, what's in you. Take a menu of yourself and write down what are you actually bringing to the table. And when you write down what you're bringing to the table, you're bringing smarts, you're bringing intelligence, you're bringing spirituality, you're bringing emo uh, emotional stable, uh, stability. When you realize that you're bringing all of that, you will realize that nobody can just treat you any old kind of way. That you're going in, you have to go in with the confidence in whatever you put on that table. You have to go in with the confidence knowing that you bring something to the table and you're not willing to go ahead and compromise or stretch yourself beyond what you're bringing to the table. Because if you go outside of your character and you stretch beyond what you're, only what your character can hold, then you transform yourself from having character to being a character. Hey, yeah, thank you, Honor. You transform yourself from having character to being a character. You remember what Peter Parker, when he tried to, when he, when he wanted to get that girl, I forgot her name, when he wanted to get her and he wanted to fight that big guy for her, he bust his mouth. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Peter Parker tried to fight him and the guy bust Peter Parker's mouth. Why? Because he went above and beyond for somebody that didn't even really wasn't even really interested in him. She really wasn't interested in him until what? Until he became Spider Man. <laughs> Become a Spider Man. Yeah, or a Spider Woman. And then start making something happen. You have to value who you are before somebody else can see the value in you. Let me give it to you again. You have to value who you are. Before somebody else can see the value in you. What's up, Courtney, baby? Man, let me tell you something. Share this message. It's for somebody out here that needs it. I'm saying to you, and I'm not, everything I talk is only from experience. I'm saying to you, stop putting yourself underneath the table when you meet somebody and sit at the table with excellence. Sit at the table with pride. And sit at the table with dignity, knowing it's not just you sitting at the table, but it's the Lord with you. Because everywhere you go, he's with you. And everywhere you sit and everything you do, you got power already around you. Let's make moves, not excuses. Man, I love you. Tomorrow, get up, go, go to church, go somewhere, go tell somebody that you love them. Hug your kids tonight, tell them that you love them. And tomorrow, wake up with purpose in mind. Knowing that you're more powerful to tomorrow than you were than you were today. Make moves, baby. I holla at you. Let me give you all the sexy V real fast before we go. You see this over here? This is how we live. This is what we do. Everything out here can be yours. If you believe. And whatever you say about yourself outside of your mouth, when you tell yourself everything is mine. 
it'll become everything around you. Your atmosphere will shift. Yes, Wanda. Let's start shifting our atmosphere. Stop playing the Clark Kent role. It's okay to be humble. Stop playing the Lois Lane role. It's okay to be humble. Stop playing the Peter Parker role. It's okay to be humble. Stop playing the Lindsay, whatever her name is, the bionic woman. Stop that. It's okay to be humble. But don't let people keep you as a Peter Parker, as a Clark Kent. When God is trying to make you a Superman, when God is trying to make you a Superwoman, a Wonder Woman, don't let him keep you there when he wants to make you powerful. I holler at you.